Now, what if the same arrangement I want to do but around a table or we can say in a circular manner. That is, I am talking about circular permutations here. So, let us say this is the first condition I have got here, the first arrangement I have got here. So, let us say this is the first person, the second person, the third, the fourth and the fifth. That means in both the cases it is having the same neighbor. So, if we want such cases where we do not want the same neighbors, then we do not distinguish between the clockwise and the anti-clockwise manner. So, in that case, half of the circular permutations will be the answer. So, five things to be arranged in a circular permutation that can be done in 5 minus 1 that is 4 factorial ways. Now in the gaps we can make the girls to sit. So 5 things to be placed on 5 places that can be done in 5 factorial ways minus. Now B1 and G1 is together. That means now B1 G1 is acting at a single unit as a single entity. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Allen Digital Classes. Here we are to learn a very important topic of the chapter permutation and combination that is circular permutations. Now we all know what is a linear permutation, right? Let's take an example. Let's say we have this five people here, one, two, three, four and five that are to be placed on five positions. Okay. So, in how many ways can we put 5 people on 5 position? That is arrangement is there. So, arranging 5 people on 5 position can be done in 5 factorial ways. On in general, we can say that n people or n objects can be placed on n places in how many ways? n factorial ways. Now, what if the same arrangement I want to do but around a table or we can say in a circular manner. That is, I am talking about circular permutations here. So, let us say this is the first condition I have got here, the first arrangement I have got here. So, let us say this is the first person, the second person, the third, the fourth and the fifth. That means, if I talk about the linear arrangement with respect to it, then I have here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, let us say we are starting to count from here. Now, if I change it just a bit, that is, now this is the first person, this is the second one, this is the third one, this is the fourth one, and this is the fifth one. And again, I am counting from this position. So, now the linear permutation I have here is, or the linear arrangement is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. But if we look at the circular one, it means we are looking at the same arrangement just from a different angle or a different perspective. Or if we keep making changes like this, let's say this is the third position, this is the fourth position, and this is the fifth one. Right. So, with respect to all of these, we have just seen that in a circular manner, these five are not different, but these are just the same. But in linear permutation, they are completely different. For example, let's talk about these. So, let's say this is the first person, the second one, the third, the fourth and the fifth. So, this is here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Right. Now, here I change the position slight a bit or let's say I'm looking at from a different angle, the same position. That is, if these five people are sitting around this table, then let's say I'm standing here and looking at them, standing here and looking at them. So, I can see all of these five are same. But if I talk about the linear permutations, then here this will be, this is the first person, second, third, fourth and fifth. So, here it becomes 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this one I will say, this is the first one, this is the second one, third one, fourth one and fifth one. So, now this becomes 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, this will become 3, 4, 5, 1, 2 and finally we will get 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So, all these 5 linear permutation are giving us one circular permutation. So, from here I can infer that 5 linear permutations are giving me one circular permutation when I am arranging 5 people there. Okay, that means in total if I have 120 permutations there, that means to arrange all the 5, there will be 5 factorial permutations in linear manner, I can say that will be 120. So, with respect to that, the circular permutations will be 24, right, same relation will be there or we can say that is 4 factorial. Now, why is that happening? Because we can see repetition is there. In circular permutation, these 5 linear permutations are 1. So, we can say the case of repetition is there. So, if we generalize it, let us say we have n objects there which are to be placed around a circle that is in circular arrangement, then in how many ways can that be done? n objects can be placed in 
a permutation that is circular in n minus 1 factorial ways. Why is it n minus 1 factorial? Because the case of repetition is there. So, n factorial permutations are there in linear manner. Repetition of n is there. So, we are dividing by n. That means it will become n minus 1 factorial circular permutations. And why is this difference between the linear and the circular one? The basic difference in these two type of arrangements is that in the linear manner, we have fixed starting and ending place, but we don't have a starting and ending place in the circular manner. For example, let's take a smaller one now. Let's say these four positions are there. This is the first position, this is the second position, this is the third position, this is the fourth position. So all the positions have their fixed identity. But now if I talk about the circular arrangement of four people, now I can make the first person sit anywhere and then the respective positions will have a specific identification. Right now, there is no identification. I can start the person to make sit anywhere. That means the first person that is going to sit there or the first object we are placing here, no actual arrangement, that mathematical arrangement is not involved. So let's say I am placing the first person here. Now all these positions have meaning, the respective positions. That is, let's say the person that is on the right side of the first person or the left side or the opposite. That means now they have their identities, all these positions there. So my task is to make these n minus 1 people to sit there or the actual arrangement if of n minus 1 objects and that can be done on n minus 1 positions in n minus 1 factorial ways. So that is the basic difference when we are arranging in a linear manner and a circular manner. Okay then next we have here such conditions when we count only half of the circular permutation. Now why do we count half of the circular permutation in cases like when we have garlands or beads or we have necklace or where we don't want to identify or distinguish between the clockwise and the anti-clockwise manner or these arrangements. For example, let's say again we have four people seated around the circle. So there will be total six circular permutations, right? These are the six permutations. But here also if we see this arrangement A, B, C and D if we are going clockwise and here if we are going anti-clockwise again we have A, B, C and D. That means both the circular permutations, if I talk about the neighbor of this person A, then the neighbors are D and B, B and D. That means in both the cases it is having the same neighbor. So if we want such cases where we don't want the same neighbors, then we do not distinguish between the clockwise and the anti-clockwise manner. So in that case, half of the circular permutations will be the answer. That means if I have n factorial linear permutations, I will have n minus 1 factorial circular permutations. In that also, if I'm counting only the clockwise or only the anti-clockwise one, then I will have n minus 1 factorial by 2 permutations or arrangements in total. Now let's understand all of this with the help of some of the examples and here we have the first one. That is number of ways in which seven Americans and seven British people can be seated on a round table so that no two Americans are consecutive. So we don't want the Americans to be consecutive. So what to do there? We know the principle of inclusion and exclusion or we can say when we can make them sit alternatively. That is we can make it first the British people sit. So in a circular arrangement, we want to make seven people to be seated. That is the seven British people to be seated first. So seven things to be arranged in a circular manner. The arrangements will be n minus 1 factorial. That is 7 minus 1 factorial into. Now in the gaps in between, we can make the American people sit. So how many gaps are there? Seven gaps are there. So now this is a simple permutation, simple arrangement, seven things to be arranged on seven places which are distinguished. Now it is not a circular permutation for American people also. There we have specific identity for all the positions. So now we can say seven things to be arranged on seven places that can be done in simple seven factorial ways. So the total number of ways possible here will be six factorial into seven factorial. That will be the correct answer. Let's see the next one with that. So we have here number of ways in which Eight person can be seated on a round table again so that all shall not have the same neighbors. That means we don't want same neighbors to be in any of the two arrangements. So now we have to not distinguish between the clockwise and the anti-clockwise arrangements. So in this case, we will have n minus 1 factorial by 2 arrangements. That means n here is 8. 
So this will be 8 minus 1 factorial by 2. That is 7 factorial by 2 ways in total. Right? Let's see the next one then. So next I have here out of 10 flowers of different colors, how many different garlands can be made with six flowers of different colors. Now in case of garland, we know we do not distinguish between the clockwise and the anti-clockwise manner because in case of garlands or beads, we have the same arrangement or we have the same neighbors there in two of the circular permutation. So we count only half of them. So what is going to happen here? First, we are going to make the selection of six flowers out of 10. So the selection can be made simply in 10 C6 ways. Now after selection, we are going to arrange them in a circular permutation where we have to count only half of them. So that will be 6 minus 1 factorial by 2. That is 10 C6 into 5 factorial by 2 ways in total. That is the correct answer. Let's see the next one with that. So we have here number of ways in which 5 boys and 5 girls can be seated on a circle alternatively. If a particular B1 and G1 are never adjacent to each other. So we are going to use the concept of inclusion and exclusion here. That is we can first count the total possibilities we have here, total number of ways in which we can make five boys and five girls sit around the circle. Then from there if we subtract the cases when B1 and G1 are together, then we are going to left with the cases where B1 and G1 are not adjacent. Right, sorted. So, total number of cases will be, first we can make the boy sit or the girl sit. Let's say we are making the boy sit there. So, five things to be arranged in a circular permutation. That can be done in five minus one. That is four factorial ways. Now, in the gaps, we can make the girls to sit. So, five things to be placed on five places. That can be done in five factorial ways minus. Now, B1 and G1 is together. That means now B1, G1 is acting at a single unit, as a single entity. Now, we are left with four boys and four girls to sit around a circle. That means, again, first we can place the boys there. So, four things to be placed around a circle in a circular permutation. That can be done in four minus one factorial ways. That is three factorial ways. Now, in the gaps in between, in these four gaps, four girls are to be seated. So, that can be done in four factorial ways. Now, we have to make the single entity adjust here. That means, now we are going to place this B1, G1 in the gaps available now. So, now if we count the gaps here, how many are available? One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So from these 8 gaps, we are going to choose one first and that selection can be made in how many ways? 8 C1 ways. Now, on this gap, in how many ways can this entity be placed? Only one way. Now, some of you might think that it could be two ways that B1, G1 and G1, B1. But the condition is still intact that boys and girls are sitting alternatively. So, if we are putting in a gap where they, here we have a girl and here we have a boy. So, to maintain their alternativity, here this should be B1, G1. Or if we are making it here, placing here when we have a boy and girl there, then this entity will be G1, B1. So, in any way, there will be only one possibility to fit it there. So, only one way to do that. That means the total number of ways now here we have to do this is 4 factorial into 5 factorial minus 3 factorial into 4 factorial into 8 C1 into 1. If you want to know what are all these, this is the total number of ways. 3 factorial is how we are placing the boys. 4 factorial, the number of ways we can place the rest of the girls. Then 8 C1, that is choosing the gap and then fitting B1, G1 there. So, this becomes the right answer. Let's see the next example. Okay, here we have a previous year question. So, pay attention. Five person we have A, B, C, D and E are seated in a circular arrangement. If each of them is given a hat of one of the three colors, red, blue and green, then the number of ways of distributing the hat such that the person seated in adjacent seat get the different colored hat is. So, what is here? We have five people in a circular arrangement. Three different color hats are there. We want to make sure that people who are adjacent to each other, they get different colored hats. So, in how many ways can we do that? Let's, let's try to do one arrangement manually and let's see what is happening here. So, five people are there. 
let's say I am giving this person here the red hat then I'm left with two colors blue and green so the next person can have blue or green let's say here I am giving green then the next person can have green or red so let's say that is this is red so red and green here I'm left with the only option that is blue so if I look at all the colors here I have red red blue blue and green that means one unique color is there and the other two are repeated on alternate positions so if I talk about the cases possible here let's say three colors are there red green and blue so I can think of the combination of three one and one that is three of them getting the same color one different and one different in that case what is going to happen at least two of them are going to get same color on the adjacent positions which we do not want so the other and only possibility we are left with that two of them have the same color other two have the same color and one is having the unique different color so if we are sorted with this one then we can arrange the two now look at some more arrangements and then it will be clear so let's say now i am fixing this unique color here let's say this is red then the other blue and green color can we alternate here so if i have blue here it will be green here if i have green here it will be blue here because if i have blue and blue there will be green and green adjacent not possible or the other possibility i can have here is let's say i'm fixing this red color and i can have here this one to be green this one to be red this one to be blue and then this one will be blue and this one will be green that is when i'm fixed with this one color with this one person then the other i can have in two ways only that is the rest two colors are repeated in alternate manner only two ways to do that so first of all let's make the selection of this color so out of three colors let's say i'm selecting one to be the unique color then i am assigning this color to a person so i have to select one person from these five so that can be done in five c one ways so one color is selected and assigned to a person now four of them are left and two colors are left there so that can be assigned to those person in only two ways these are the two ways no matter which color we are choosing so that can be done only in two ways so these are the total number of ways possible that is three into five into two so total 30 ways are there to make it possible for five people in a circle to have three different colored hats such that the person sitting adjacent are not having the same hat now with this everybody we are done with all the concepts here so let's quickly go through what we have learned in today's lecture the key takeaways we have here the circular permutation for n objects are given by n minus 1 factorial ways and if we are not distinguishing between the clockwise and the anti-clockwise manner then it will be half of it that is n minus 1 factorial upon so thank you everyone for joining, now stay tuned.